Karate friends, welcome to Classics in Color, your weekly dive into some of the ancient world's wackiest facts. I'm Mark Graves, and happy Mother's Day. I thought today we would talk about what I guess is one of my favorite myths from Greek mythology, because it shows just how pessimistic and dark uh, most Greek literature seems to be, because it is basically the mother of all be careful what you wish for stories. Kaidepe was a good, respectable Greek woman. She was a priestess of Hera. She had two sons who were not just boys, but they were also pious and obedient. So this woman was just crushing it, right? And doing everything she was supposed to do. And one day there was supposed to be a festival to the goddess Hera happening in the local town at Hera's temple. And she's the priestess of Hera, so she's supposed to be there. But the morning or the night before, she's getting ready to leave, but her cattle have escaped. They've wandered off. She can't find them anywhere. And she's getting a little concerned about how she's going to get to this festival on time. But her two boys are just the best, the nicest boys you've ever seen. And they decide they're going to help their mom out. They hitch themselves up to her wagon and they pull her six miles to the town so that she can be there on time. As soon as they get to the festival, Kaidepe prays to Hera, thanks her for getting her here on time, for giving her such amazing sons, and she asks the goddess for a boon. And Kaidepe is a wise woman, so she doesn't ask for anything specific because we all know if you ask God or a genie or anything for something specific, they're going to twist it and it's going to backfire on you. So she is very smart and she just says, hey, oh, wise, amazing goddess, whatever you think is the best thing for a mortal to ask for, you know, that will make them happy and, you know, the, the happiest they could be. Can you please give that to my sons? Because they are just so amazing. And she continues about her day. So they have the festival. They have a great time. They offer their prayers and their sacrifices and hold their rituals, all that good stuff. And then her two sons, uh, Cleobus and Biton, fall asleep in Hera's temple. So what amazing gift does the great goddess Hera give to these two faithful boys? Well, the next morning, they do not wake up. They basically die in their sleep, uh, indicating that the best possible thing for any mortal is to die in their sleep, Um, which reiterates the moral, not just of this story, but of so many stories from Greek mythology and history, which is that you should never say anyone is happy or lucky until they are safely dead, (laughs) until they are six feet under, the other shoe could drop any minute and you don't know. So you should just never call anybody happy until they're dead. And apparently the gods think that the happiest that you could possibly be uh, is dead because we just are walking through this veil of tears and everything sucks. So let me know if you managed to come up with a better gift than Hera for your mother on this Mother's Day. Uh, Thank you so much to subscribers and to Patreon members, and I hope to see all of you again next week. Karate.